Right. Hi, everybody. I'm Brony Downs, writer with Art Collector Magazine. And today I'm here Zooming with Bronte Leitendorf. Uh, and we're going to be delving into her exhibition, A Feeling Amongst the Motion, which is currently showing at Sydney Gallery Martin Brown Contemporary. So today I'm here in my lounge room in Hobart, Tasmania. And Bronte, where are you? Um, I'm in my darling her studio. Great, great. Uh, so you have recently graduated from the National School of Art in Sydney uh, and kind of in the early stages of developing your art career. Despite this, you have already been a finalist in the Win Prize and received a highly commended in the Paddington Art Prize. Can you give us a bit of background about your practice and some of the artists that have inspired you along the way? Um, yes. Um, yeah, I graduated a year and a bit ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've been like working really hard to try and build my career. Um, I guess ultimately I've always been a drawer mm -hmm. and so I never meant to be a painter but I've always loved arts and always been drawn to it. Um, I guess when I was at uni um, in relation to artists figuratively I was always drawn to Alice Neal um, for landscape, David Hockney and the bright colours um, especially in these more recent landscapes um, and then of course like Bernard and Matisse um, in relation to like colour and texture on canvas. Um, yeah, I mean, um, but yeah, I don't know. I've been working really hard since I graduated and um, just painting lots. <laughs> yep, yes. yep. So with your new exhibition, uh, it looks like we can see a lot of still life interiors. Uh, and they're, they're so light and full of colour. I was thinking last night when I look at them, it's almost like taking a breath of fresh air because uh, they're <laughs> so, so light. And especially in, in these times where we're all inside, uh, they're beautiful to look at. So uh, I was wondering, are there specific locations that you're painting in these pictures for your new exhibition? Um, with the still lives, it's really funny. I was always drawn to landscapes or painting outdoors so I love doing plein air um, mm -hmm. but studying at National Art School it was really curious I had to learn to build a studio practice mm -hmm. um, and so learn to bring things from outdoors bring things that are beautiful and sculptural and create a space in an interior mm -hmm. um, I guess I just kind of I, I only paint in my studio the still lives at this point in time um, and I've been very lucky to have very light filled studios as I think you can see now <laughs> in front of a window. Um, yeah. I generally just set it up on my studio table. So like, it's got like an orange here, <laughs> like yeah. some, some flowers <laughs> over. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I accumulate beautiful objects from different people, times, places, and like bring them all together. And yeah. light is a very important aspect because light is so transparent is passing um all the time and changing which is what we love about nature i think so it's kind of interesting to try and perceive that within an interior space which doesn't seemingly change as quickly i guess as as being in the landscape True. yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> So with the, the title of the exhibition, A Feeling Amongst the Motion, uh, can you describe what this feeling is and how it relates back to the work? Yeah, so um, it's really interesting, that title. I feel like it's really relevant to what we're all experiencing, actually, because mm -hmm. we're all in a global motion mm -hmm. at the moment, and yeah. we all have different feelings in relation to that. Um, my previous show was called Coming and Going Away um, and I feel like it all really ties in together. Um, so for this show, it's about, yeah, once again, the landscapes, the still lives and how everything's tied together. Mm -hmm. um, these alternative spaces, both interior, exterior, but also the body and the mind. So um, my 
my physical body and the feelings inside as well and how they all relate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was watching an interview, uh, I think it was to do with the Paddington Art Prize uh, the other day, mm -hmm. and you were talking about how you uh, often paint on the floor. Um, yeah. The way yeah. Like, did you make this show like that? Is that how you yeah, do it? So, um, my still lives, I paint directly um, on an easel, mm -hmm. um, whereas my landscapes, I go out to the bush, um, do plein air studies, and then bring them back into the studio space. So yep. the practice is different. Um, but yeah, I'll lay out a board um, and use very thin paint. And it's so thin that it has to be sitting flat, otherwise it would drip. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's a really beautiful practice um, because it's not about trying to capture that moment. It's like a new moment that you brought into the studio. It's a different practice. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I'll set it up on the floor and then let it dry and yeah, but I guess it's a nice way of getting into your body to stand over the work. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Um, so on your Instagram account, uh, you mentioned you might be doing a live stream walkthrough of the show. Uh, are you still going to yeah. do that, do you think? I hope so. Um, I haven't been very good at arranging a time yet, <laughs> uh, but I would really, really love to do that just to show people a little bit more of the experience of the scale of the works maybe yep. because they're all really large scale for this show mm -hmm. um which when you walk into the space really makes an impression because yeah. they're kind of as big as you are <laughs> yeah. um so i would really like to still organize that and i'll post that on my instagram when i've got the time and yeah <laughs> yeah so what's your instagram handle so people can do that uh, it's just my name, Bronte Leighton Dorr. Great, great. Alrighty. Um, well, I think we can probably leave it there. Sounds like it's going to be, it's an amazing show. You can check it out online uh, at martinbrowncontemporary.com or via appointment at the gallery until the 26th of April. Uh, and thank you, Bronte, for joining us and everybody else out there for listening. And we'll see you next time.